Hurricane Ian has officially made landfall on Florida's west coast. The hurricane's eye wall described as extremely dangerous. And we have a live look at what's happening in Tampa. You can see those massive waves in the bay. Ian is packing winds and rains that officials warn will cause catastrophic floods and life-threatening storm surge. The storm caused a nationwide blackout in Cuba on Tuesday. Now Florida is dealing with mass power outages. And here is another live look of Brendanton schools, supermarkets, airports, theme parks in Florida all across the state have been closed. Sarasota's mayor decided to pull police officers from the city streets due to the dangerous conditions. At this point, all we have is ourselves as a community. So take care of your neighbors uh, because we're in this together and we're going to make it through. Cities across the Sunshine State are bracing for Ian's impact. And we are not the only ones monitoring the situation in Florida as a number of Utahns already on the ground there helping out any way they can. Members of Utah Task Force One who were originally deployed to Puerto Rico to assist with efforts in the wake of Hurricane Fiona are now in Florida today to help coordinate relief efforts. The American Red Cross has also deployed its volunteers to the region, including a couple from Orem. They're currently helping out at an emergency shelter in Crescent City, halfway between Orlando and Jacksonville. 90% of the workforce of the Red Cross is done by volunteers. So there are always opportunities to volunteer, whether locally or on assignments like this. We've had a wonderful life and, and have fortunately been spared disasters in our life. And so having this opportunity to give of our time to come and help those that are, are facing a disaster is very meaningful to us. Sounds like they're going to need the help. Anyone interested in volunteering or donating to the American Red Cross can learn more by visiting redcross.org. We are expecting a live report from Florida coming up in just a few minutes. But first, we want to go live to Utah's Weather Authority, Allison Krogan. We know you've been tracking this storm. It is massive. Yes, making landfall as a Category 4 hurricane at 3.05 local time. They're two hours ahead of us since they are on that eastern coast of the country. And we continue to see impacts. Now, as we get into the next few hours, the sun will be going down. And we continue with that flooding threat and it's so difficult to be able to see what you're dealing with when it's dark outside in the middle of the night. So the latest information coming in right now for Hurricane Ian, still a category four hurricane. So what we're tracking for you right now, the storm is moving north northeast at eight miles per hour. So that is a slow moving storm. I mean, think about if you were driving across Utah and you were driving at eight miles per hour, how long it would take you just to, to get across. This system will continue to pass through Florida. It will keep strength as a category one before getting back out into the water and then we'll see another landfall in the Carolinas. Now we did have two landfalls earlier today here in Florida. We had those barrier islands, then we had the main part of Florida and then that continual will continue moving and then by this weekend we'll see those impacts in the Carolinas.